Hey guys, Mike here. So, oh boy, what a rip roaring rally today, wasn't it? I mean, coming right out of the gates. And I know you're sitting there going, what the hell's happening? <laughs> Wait a minute. Did the Fed, did they pivot? Did, did we stop raising rates? It's like, no, you know, we've, we've seen this before, right? I'm going to show you exactly what happened today, why it happened on the charts. It's obvious as can be what's going on. And, you know, we'll get into all that fun stuff. And I'll say some news that came out, which that's what they're saying. Cause the catalyst. Here's the news. Let me just claw for the littlest thing I can find. It wasn't even something in America, by the way. Uh, it was something overseas. And then we'll do something, uh, something that China did, which is kind of suspicious. Not surprised one bit at all. So, of course, their stocks rallied. Uh, as well and then we'll get into something i do which i encourage all of you to do i do want to say and i meant to say this weeks ago is that i don't know if you know this but if you're watching any finance channel if you're reading finance books or anything like that right if you're subscribing to membership somewhere to to learn right that's the key to learn to be a better investor or trader or whatever it is you want to be you need to pat yourself on the back because i'm gonna tell you a little secret you're in the minority Okay, at least in this country you are. I promise you, you're in a very, you're in a very select, minute club of people that want to get better at something, right? To better your future, to maybe teach your kids one day about it or something like that or pass it on. I can promise you, the majority of our country, and I only speak for my country, unfortunately, I don't know how you feel about this. They want to have their, their hand held and they just want to be led. Led wherever. That's just the way it is, right? I mean, unfortunately, um, you know, you know me. I, I get on my rant sometimes, every once in a blue moon, uh, when I see or hear something, and I just I was reading something today or whatever. And I've been meaning to say this for a while because it's been building up. But you know, you, you should congratulate yourself. You, you should go out to dinner with your family night and say, "What are we celebrating? You're celebrating you?" And they go, "What do you mean?" Because I'm trying to make me myself better and make this family better and being able to actually retire one day and not depend on Social Security or something like that, right? Trying to make sure your kids don't have to go through what maybe you had to go through and that kind of stuff. And so, you know, just pat yourself on the back. Congratulations to you. Again, I always tell people, unsubscribe this channel. It won't hurt my feelings a bit if you're not getting anything out of it and find you a channel that does. I'll try to find one for you if this isn't doing it for you. But, you know, again, this is just it's it's just nice to see i guess or i read the comments and you guys send me emails and i really appreciate that and all your support but you know just pat yourself on the back i promise you you are in a minute club i'm telling you you know i'm not wrong on this i promise i'm not wrong on this uh but let me know in the comments what you think about it and you should just be proud of yourself that's that's the way i look at it and um you know but getting back to the day that's my soapbox speech Getting back to the day, it was one of those rallies, guys, right? I mean, everything across the board goes green pretty much. You got oil stocks. You got the ARC stocks are all up big time, as you can see. Um, you come down, you got all the bank stocks are up. I mean, the sectors are just rolling, right? Bio uh, genomics. You got the, all the travel stocks. There's cruise stocks up again. I don't know if it's like seven days in a row, whatever. Your metal stocks, your crypto stocks, your safe haven stocks. Uh, social media stocks there's the chinese stocks all rolling up your fintech stocks there's semiconductor stocks your big boys are rolling up look at roblox i'll get into in a minute up 20 percent on some news uh, at least it had news then you got your big boys look at tesla up seven percent right rk is up seven percent index is between two and a half to three and a half percent right i mean just a volatile rip your face off rally day it was all risk on i mean if we go over here you even got crypto there it is boom look at all the green so even crypto is up and so what's happening and it's very simple guys this was a voluntary day where shorts are covering okay they voluntarily bought back the stock to return it they are taking profits they have rode that puppy down and they're like we are good okay and why do they do this okay and you look at the chart here one is because simply we bounced off that support level at the bottom it's been rolling up here now we're right at that resistance level right the 20 uh moving average right there is a big gap above right and so they know if it breaks above all that resistance it's going to fill that gap okay that's about a three to three and a half percent move right there and also we're starting earnings right we're starting earnings and you can see i mean it's right there at the support level it actually basically sold off once it hit the 20 moving average um, and you can see uh, i mean obviously at the end of the day there, there was a quite a quite a bit of selling going on there right 
And you can see right now I got mine where it said because once that RSA crosses over that 50, that is bullish. It's already pointing up. It's been moving up, uh, as you can see. And I think if we just look, I mean, so far we're up about 4.73% in three trading days. And so shorts are kind of seeing the writing on the wall. And the reason why, because you go back and history doesn't repeat itself, but it sure rhymes a lot. Guess what this was? This was the start of second quarter earnings, right? The RSI was below 50. We were below those moving averages and it busted up above and it just took off, right? It absolutely took off. And if you remember what I told you about earnings, which I almost see it happening, this earnings was all it had to do was just trip over the finish line, right? That's all they had to do. And I love these memes, so I'm definitely gonna sit here and watch all these memes because they make me laugh uh, like crazy. Now, of course, the funny thing about it was you saw TLT actually sell off today, right? So that SPY is up, S&P goes up. Well, the government bonds come down. What happens when bonds actually sell off? What happens to yields? Yields actually go up, right? And so what'd you see? 10 years sells off all pre-market, boom, and then takes off, right? So it's actually up on the day. Uh, 20 year, same thing going on there as the 10 year. So it's rising, which normally you don't see uh, risky stocks or risky investments going up when that's happening. And please hit that like, subscribe button, and share the video if you get anything out of this, guys. I really appreciate it. And if you want to sign up for the monthly membership, it costs less than a McDonald's combo right now. It's about 40 slots left. And you get morning news briefings Monday through Friday. You have all the news going on around the world for the markets. And private videos with different market analysis and trade ideas and such because I like to plan ahead for events coming up. So just hit the link down below if you're interested in that. And the other thing that was happening is, and this is probably one of the reasons too, is you had the dollar, right? The dollar sold off a little bit today, as you can see right there, it was going down. And normally when the dollar goes down, usually the yields will come down with it. That'll drive the market today. It just had to be the dollar, right? And so it sold off and it started strengthening uh, in the afternoon. As you can see, eventually it's going to have to hit that trend line right there i mean it's bounced off of it so many times i think everybody's kind of waiting on to see what happens when it comes down if it breaks through that but you can see how many times it's bounced off of it already and the news that really started was news coming out of england supposedly where they're just basically reversing course on everything now they're like forget tax breaks not only for the rich but for everybody else it seems like because uh, they want to appease the markets and stuff and so that came out that was i guess bullish for the markets wink wink because it'll help them fight inflation over there uh, maybe that's what it was. Uh, the other one was China delays release of key economic data. And what do you know? They're meeting this week and they decide to say GDP. Nah, we don't need to release that right now. So we're meeting, you know, right now, the communist party that is and telling the world how great we are and how good of a job we're doing with, you know, zero COVID policy and destroying our tech companies and stuff. And so, you know, that right there is <laughs> some news, like, I guess that's bullish. And I'm like, why would you hold back your GDP numbers if they're really good? I don't know, right? I mean, that's kind of suspicious. And so they're supposed to come out tomorrow. I suppose they're delaying them. We'll see on that if that's the case. But if you're delaying them, kind of lets me know maybe it isn't that good. I don't know how your GDP could be good when you're pretty much destroying your own economy right now and attacking your own tech companies and everything else. But hey, Tech rallied on it, so they're like, yay, wonderful. And I want you to look at this. I saw that this right here this morning. This is something to keep in mind, right? The long drops, right? This is the average S&P 500 index declines, which obviously take more than a year, right? And so that's the ones you want to look at, the ones that take long, uh, more than a year. And you can just come down, you can see, you know, 1929, 1946. Uh, you go over the 60s and 70s, early 80s there, you have something... Uh, that you want to compare it to and you look over to the right and see the declines going on uh, 2000 2007 you get your average i don't really care about the average though. i just want to because if you look you take those little crashes in consideration it totally blows away the averages right and so what i want to do is actually sit here and go through 68 73 80 2000 2007 and then uh today and so when you look at it uh, you can obviously see we probably got a ways to go if we're going to continue to drop, right? Because we're at 195 days and only at 25% on the S&P. And you can see uh, you're looking at anywhere, what do you think the average is? If you just take the really long, drawn down um, bear markets, you're looking, I mean, best case scenario, 350 or something like that. But most likely between 
300 and 400 is that fair to say you know so could have a ways to go on that i think it keeps things in perspective at least for me and so you know that's where we're at and um i mean i just kind of just recorded what three videos for the members of the day i gotta start putting out so and when i come up with ideas i'll just record it and then put it in a folder and i'll release them and stuff when they make sense but um you know they'll have a better idea when you look at that chart of what i'm talking about and how to spot bottom and stuff like that but one thing i'll tell you guys you know i see everybody buying you know certain things or maybe they buy dividend stocks but the one thing i encourage you to do and i'm telling you to do this and encourage you to do and look into it and there's plenty of tutorials out there uh, i would not be teaching this or anything because i'm still learning it uh, but it's paid off so far you know it's kind of like a side hustle a free side hustle it's really easy and it's you know either selling cash could put puts or cover calls right do the cover calls you gotta have 100 shares cash curve put you do not and this is also if you get really good at how people actually get their stocks right they'll set a, a, a basically price they feel good about and they'll sell a cash curve put receive a premium money they get to keep no matter what happens right so if they don't get a sign the money's there if they get a sign that money helps go towards purchasing uh shares and stuff uh, and i do this in multiple accounts and this one was in my son's account that i'm building up for him right he's seven and so there's not a lot of money in it so i, I can't buy like big stocks like tesla or anything like that uh, but every little bit helps right because i got a long time to do it and so you know for example in this one i bought uh, i sold a cash could put and on roblox right and and i, I do this very conservatively right and i hate um weeble in a way because i don't put enough detail in here you don't even tell you it's a put but this is a put and so you know it received 80 bucks for every contract right so on this one i received 80 dollars i did this thursday i believe it was and today it's you know skyrocketed up and so i was 92 percent in the green so i said well forget this i'm just going to go ahead and close this out so i can open another one if i want to uh today or tomorrow i'm going to look at that and see but so in like three trading days got to keep the money right and of course what happened was robot skyrocketed um 20 at one point in time today because they released the numbers about daily active users at 57.8 million in september up 23 percent year over year estimated bookings 212 to 219 million for the month up 13 percent year over year at midpoint and i don't really care about any of that but you know it's just if you got big accounts you can do a lot of money this is a small account of course but i do this in multiple accounts and it just it's like one of those things i tell people you're pushing a couple buttons but i'm very conservative extremely conservative right and so i've never lost shares never got called but i'm trying to really get better actually when i want to get into stocks selling the cash credit puts to allow me to get in at a certain price and stuff trying to just improve myself right and come on come on different things but with this you I, for me i know i mean you're making way more return on your money than me putting it in a savings account or a money market account or a cd ladder or whatever you know i just am and i'm conservative but if you're aggressive you'll make way more money i know people that do this uh especially with tesla stock with coinbase they do this all because they do these high beta stocks you know you get a lot of premium from these stocks some people won't do weeklies they'll they'll just sit and wait uh, for certain indicators to roll over in order to do the calls and then they'll wait for certain indicators to show the stocks going up do the puts because it'll close out very fast because it goes up as you saw right there right when when the person who bought that put got screwed right i sold the put so i was good the person that bought the put is like oh crap you know so they'll, they'll need to if they aren't if that put ain't already dead they'll need to uh sit there and need a major drop from roblox which would need some very very bad news or something to happen in the market but you know it's it's not as complicated as it seems it really isn't and there's some people that are experts at this i am not by the way i make mistakes i will continue to make mistakes but i learn from those mistakes okay and it's just easy money. I always tell people, if you're walking down the street and you run across 80 bucks on the sidewalk, you're not going to pass that up. You know, it only took me a few buttons to push to do that. And I was going to ride this out till Friday. That's what I thought, you know. And there's another strategy I'm working on now, which I, I discovered the other day. And I'm like, hmm, I might just try that. You know, just just any any easy money you can get, right? And what I tell you, especially in a bear market, trying to build that cash position, getting it bigger and bigger and bigger. And nothing's risk-free, right? Nothing's guaranteed but the way i do it for me at least uh, so far it's worked well and i mean i think i showed y'all so was somebody last year i mean conservatively and all i was doing was uh cover calls last year i wasn't even doing cash grip puts last year and i started in like in what was it july or august and we weren't even i was in a bear market then or anything but we were actually moving up but and i was doing it very conservatively and i think i increased you know one of my accounts by like six thousand dollars or something just doing extremely conservative just the covered calls i mean it and never 
lost any shares or nothing because I'm so conservative on it. But again, if you're aggressive, you got a high risk tolerance. I know people that make a boatload of money doing that stuff and nobody tells you about it. You know, nobody told me about it. I just came across it and was like, really? Is this real? You know, and it's kind of scary. You think, oh my God, I'm selling? Because all we know is to buy them, right? And I'm like, oh, that's how that works. It's, it's crazy. It really is crazy. So anyway, just look into it for yourself. See, I mean, you can learn. I promise you can. I mean, seriously, and it's something I'm definitely going to teach my son. And I'll tell you why. Because I'm already thinking, I like to think way ahead. You know, I'm a planner. I have been since I was a kid. It's just the way I'm built. And I'm telling you, like, when he goes to college, I ain't going to have him delivering pizzas. and nothing, nothing wrong with doing that. I mean, I, I worked a, a nighttime job going through college, right? But if you know how to do this, right, and you have an account with money in it, so they do. Look, first we're buying you a house to live in. You're going to rent the other rooms out. That's going to cover all your living expenses. Hopefully you have a little cash left in the thing. Your job is going to be to sell cash, secure puts, and covered calls after you're taught how to do it. And maybe even do some other options trading, maybe some swing trading, whatever. And that's going to be your job. The rest of us going to school. All right? And so you'll make a lot more money doing that, and you will. And it takes a lot less time to make that money than you will actually having to go out and deliver pizzas and work at McDonald's or work, do what I do, work a graveyard shift at a steel mill, which is as dangerous as it can be, by the way. And, you know, I think 30% of those guys didn't have all their fingers and toes, I'm sure of it. And so, you know, I'd rather him be doing that. So I'm trying to think that kind of stuff, right? I'm thinking right now in this bear market, what is everything I can do to build up? that cash account and of course people like you know i don't the cash is sitting there either by the way i want it working for me right and so you know that that's what i'm doing let me know in the comments what you're doing let me know what you think about that if you're even going to try to look into it or if you do it and you have tips put it in there man you know let us know i'll share it with the group okay and so hope you guys got something out of this hit the like subscribe button if you did i really appreciate it look at that membership if you want to and i'll see you guys tomorrow